They're looking for a four-bedroom period house close to the city for a budget of £300,000. So far we've shown them four very different homes, but they don't seem to be convinced. The first property we went to see was this classic Regency home in Weston. A bit small, but with some great period features. I don't know that we even know what Georgian features are. <laughs> Next, we moved on to the much sought-after area of Camden to look at this large house in Barclay Place. With four bedrooms, two bathrooms and within their budget, we thought this was a real contender. I can't get over the internal decoration. It just hits me straight in my face. OK, but what about Upper Camden? Lots of space and great views, but just not something Jeff was willing to pay for. It's nothing that's going to say, hey, pick me, pick me. Our fourth property was in North Bath and convinced Jeff and Crena that modern wasn't for them. Don't like it at all. What now? Four houses and no real contenders. Back into the city and our first call is a Georgian townhouse in up-and-coming Thomas Street. Well, this one's a four-bedroom and it's on the market at 275000 Lovely entrance lobby. Nice. Impression good. Great floor. Great floor. And you know the best thing? This is a stone staircase which runs the whole way up the house. Usually with a stone staircase they only run up to the first floor because guests wouldn't be invited beyond that and you could have an ordinary wooden staircase. Mm. But in this case somebody obviously decided to splash out when they were building the house and it goes the whole way up. The ground floor also has two reception rooms. There's potential here to knock down the wall between them, creating a larger space for some open plan living. If we were going to win Jeff over, the kitchen had to be right, and we thought this one below stairs might be big enough to do the trick. So, this is the kitchen, which is a great room size-wise, mm. and considering it's in the basement, it has really good ceiling height. Yeah. I think if you updated the kitchen, you could actually add value and have the kind of kitchen you really want. And yeah. I think it would look fantastic. Mm. It's a good area. Yeah. It's, it's got space. a nice deal as well, even though it's outdated, but it's, uh, let's say, something that we could try and put in our, That's quite stamp open. our own identity in here. Yeah. Yeah. So a positive response for the kitchen, but what about the rest of the house? Fantastic size room. Really good proportions up here, isn't it? Yeah. I think yeah. it's probably the, well, it's definitely the biggest bedroom that we've actually seen over the last few days. One thing that really gets me is when I've walked in here, sunlight's hitting this room, it's a wonderful height, feeling of airiness, spaciousness. Oh look, here's the bathroom. I was wondering where this had got to. It's a great size. It's a good size. Now, we've got to the top of the house and we know now that this is the only bathroom. Mm, mm. Is it big enough for you to cope with it being the only one? I think it's okay in the short term, but we would really look at putting another full bathroom in, or perhaps just a shower, loo and basin in somewhere. Well, in which case we've got to look into where we can do that. Mm. At last we found a house that they actually like, but there's one major problem, parking. This is something Jeff and Karina will have to come to terms with if they want a city location. As an alternative, we're taking them slightly further out of town to North End. Our final property is a 15-minute drive from the city. This recently renovated barn dates back to the 16th century, even older than most of the architecture in Bath. At £320,000, we think it's within negotiating range and doesn't require any work. Boasting original wood beams, exposed stonework, good-sized rooms and lots of free-flowing space, the house has a lot to offer. But will they be willing to move out of the city? Here we are, something completely different. This, as you, you'll have seen on our drive here, is a bit out of town. We're in Bath Eastern, not in the centre of Bath, but it's a completely different feel. Absolutely different feel. Yes. I like the um, beams. The beam is fantastic. And isn't it? even though the ceilings aren't high, it's still light and airy. And I really like the stonework on the wall, I think it's great. One of the other things that we thought you might like about the house is the lateral flow of it. And it's a very open house. A big kitchen, quite a sort of rural and rustic feel in here. Even though this is a country kitchen, I think it's fabulous. We thought you'd really like the range. That's quite a special bit of kit for you, I imagine. It's absolutely. It's uh, what I'd term six on wheels. It's a great looking range. Really makes the kitchen. This is the extractor fan. If you're planning on doing a lot of cooking, does it really extract or is it just a filter? So I'm going to do something rather unorthodox and just take a look behind it to see whether there's a pipe which is... Oh, thank you, Phil. 
One shouldn't get up on people's kitchen cabinets. Now look here. Oh yeah, there's a big aluminium pipe which goes straight through this big stone wall right to the outside. So it is properly extracting the air rather than just filtering it. So this is the main bedroom? It is. It's quite a simple, uncomplicated room. It's, it's got a nice feel. I think even though the ceiling's quite low, it's still quite light. Although I'd probably want to actually see some more windows in the main bedroom. As far as the beam and the woodwork, and the same would apply for the uh, plumbing and the electrics, it's a refurbished house. It was refurbished about a year ago. So I'd be asking my solicitor, has the woodwork been treated for, for beetle attack? And if it, if it has, let's see the guarantee. Right. Is the plumbing new? And does that come with a certificate? Right. Exactly the same for the electrics. So buying a house such as this, you'd want, you'd want to know that you were paying for a house that had a completely clean bill of health. Right. The house shares the back area with the two adjacent properties and with plenty of room for both their cars. There are lots of great things about this house, but one thing really worries me. This wall is southeast facing. The sun's going to be over here a lot of the time. This is a shared parking area. What rights do you have? Who can park here? Who can't? If someone comes along with a van and puts it right here, it's going to block that window and that window entirely. That room will be plunged into darkness and there are no windows on the other side. Check what rights you have over this plot. Well, Karina loves the rooms and Jeff can definitely see himself cooking in that kitchen, but will they be willing to forego city living? So in all, we viewed six very different homes, ranging from period to modern to rustic. But for a second viewing, we'll really need to capture Jeff and Karina's hearts. We've seen six properties. Are any of those suitable as your home? I think there's one standout that we would both like to go and see again, and that's the property in Thomas Street. When I first walked in there, it was, let's say, the ideal home for me. It met probably a good 80% of the uh, requirements that we have. It's got the location, it's got the four bedrooms, a wonderful kitchen space, living on two floors. Jeff and Karina felt that the converted barn in North End, although a great house, was just a bit too far from the city centre. Thomas Street, on the other hand, met most of their requirements, but there were still a few queries. Let's see if it can survive the scrutiny of a second viewing. It's actually smaller than what I remember. Mm -hmm. It is. The first thing on our list is the wall between the two main reception rooms. It could be knocked down to create a bigger living area. But in a Grade 2 listed building, you need to check with the relevant authorities before any structural work can be done. I thought a Grade 2 listing meant the outside only. In houses of this kind, you have to allow people to see the original use of the rooms. It, it applies to some of the features inside. Right. right. Including and doors. Including things like doors. So you can knock down the wall, you could have the flow through, but if you left the door, even though it would be closed and you could use this space, you could probably take the doorknob off and put something in front of this door. You'd actually have to leave the frame work. You'd have to leave the frame so that people could see the shape of the original room. If your decision to purchase a house is dependent on work being done, make sure you check in advance that the proposed work is legal. And you haven't got the in this instance, it seems likely that the wall could be partially removed to create the bigger room, but could not be knocked down entirely. The other concern was the solitary bathroom on the top floor. We need to see if we can create a second one anywhere. If you were to put the bathroom in here, there are two alternatives. The present bathroom is up there, so it wouldn't be a problem with the plumbing. You'd put a wall where you're standing. You'd come in there. There would be the bathroom door. There would be the bedroom door. Another alternative would be to use the space next to the existing loo in the basement to install a shower. I've come to the outside of the house to try and get a better feel for the rest of the street. What I've noticed, the scaffolding both at the bottom and at the top of the street, that's got to be a good sign of an up and coming area. Several of the houses have been converted into flats and two of them on the other side of the street have recently been on the market. So that gives us real food for thought as far as the value is concerned. Time to have a look at the back of the house and see what the access is like. I've got the key, Jeff, to the back door. We'll see what's behind here. Hmm. Fair bit of jungle, Jeff. Yeah, fair bit. I think the issue, again, for your solicitor to find out here is what rights of way do you have from that door across here? Because clearly you don't own it. One good thing, though, at least it's not backing out onto a street. Yeah. But, um, yeah, council flats are it's relatively close. close. That's the first piece of graffiti I've seen since I've lived in Bath. 
Mm. The essence of a second viewing is checking on the practicalities. Remember, this is an up-and-coming area and that's reflected in the price. So, for Jeff and Karina, does Thomas Street still have enough on offer to make it their family home? We really like the property. Um, for us, we'd like to try and make an offer. Um, we're just trying to come up with figures in our own head. How much would it cost, realistically, to put in a new kitchen, put a new flooring in the kitchen, put in a second bathroom, you know, do up all the rooms, how we would actually like to live in it. I don't think you'd have to spend more than £25,000 on that house. If, if we went in as an opening offer at 235000 it's quite some distance from what they're expecting and hoping for, but I think it would be a good opening gambit. I would be pleased with anything under 250. Bearing in mind that it's on the market at 275,000, but it's been for sale for quite a while. Right. So it's time to put in an offer on Thomas Street. Our low bid is strengthened by the fact that Jeff and Karina are chain free and have their finances in place. And the offer is 235,000. I'll give them a ring straight away. Thank you. Our initial offer was rejected a few days later, but Jeff and Karina still weren't giving up. We really liked Thomas Street, so we put several offers in, but we kept moving up our price. But when we got really close to what she was asking, she unfortunately took the property off the market, which it's fair to say we were pretty disappointed. So Jeff and Karina are back out hunting for a home. Remember, even after you've splashed out on a survey, until contracts are actually exchanged, under English law, the vendor has the right to walk away from the deal. It's just a risk you can't avoid.